Hello and welcome to episode six of the Unqualified Game Chat. I am your host, Azara Lopez, and with me is my co-host, Spencer Legacy. Hello there. How's it going, everybody? Spencer, how are you? How are I'm you doing, feeling? You know, I'm doing great, you know? I mean, got a whole bunch of school projects, but, you know, once those are done, it's going to be, I'm almost on summer, which is weird because it's March, but then I'll be doing lots more writing, some freelance stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to it. Are you the type of person in a group project to do the most work or the least yes, work? The most, absolutely. Mm. I'm the one who gets tired of everyone communicating on WhatsApp and is like, I'm 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 just going to do this huge chunk and you guys can do the rest. Yeah, because technically you don't really know them and they could just be like on total polar opposites of your of your like uh, personality. So. Yeah. And you, with a pandemic going on, you can only know them through text. So you, you, you have no idea who they are. So it's easier to just buckle in and get it done. Yeah, I agree. I've been on both. And mm -hmm. sometimes I don't feel like doing anything and I'll make <laughs> that totally clear, but I, I am one to charm my way through many of projects. Oh yeah. No, I, as someone who rolled a 20 in charisma and a zero and everything else in life, I completely agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just got to put up the charm a little bit. Natural yeah, 20. exactly. <laughs> Spencer, as you know, this podcast is recorded every week and posted to podcast services and YouTube. Everything, really. Every Thursday. I did know that. Yes. So it does for the, that's for the listeners. Um, if you can leave us a review or comments or anything, uh, it's much appreciated. With that said, let's get into what you're playing right now. Good question. Well, uh, partially continued from last week. I'm still playing Dragon Quest V. I'm at the point where you pick a wife, uh, and I'm probably going to go the canon route with Bianca. But I, I, I like the the game's grown on me immensely. I'm loving the way that you recruit monsters as your party. I'm not loving that to recruit them, you just have to kill them last and they all have their own odds of joining. I wish there was a more surefire way than like a one in 64 odds check every fight because that leads to over leveling, which we talked about grinding last week. I've been over leveled because I've been accidentally grinding, trying to get monsters. So, so do you one shot uh, them now? I, I pretty much one shot them. And then I just hope and pray that they join my party because if they don't i'm like i'm just gonna get stronger as it goes um so i have a i have a pretty strong party now i'm what is uh, the benefit of catching the monsters uh for most of the game they're they're your party members mm -hmm. so um it's it's your hero and then uh certain monsters have different abilities so like heal slimes or cure slimes get multi-heal mid heal full heal and that's important to have uh, well, on the other hand, something like a restless armor or an orc is great for physical attacks. So you want to recruit certain uh, monsters to have a very well-rounded out party. Um, the only problem is some of them have like 1 in 64 odds, stuff like that, which leads to a lot of battles, especially if you have bad luck. But it's really fun to mix and match them in the game, I think. Um, you can get some really fun kind of like combinations of, of fighters going. Um uh, and then if you're like me and you accidentally over level, you could also just plow through everything. So I'm, I'm really enjoying the diversity in that. Um, so that's been the main game I'm playing. And then for the first time in like a month, I revisited my animal crossing Island and I cleaned it up because it was ugly and full of flowers everywhere. And now it's, it's looking a bit nicer. So I hope they add more to the game so I can keep playing, but at least my Island is no longer a hellscape. I played it maybe four times and i don't think i ever returned to it i have like 145 hours in it because i love animal crossing since the since the ds i'd say uh because i didn't have the gamecube one but i've it's it's a relaxing thing to do at the end of the day or the beginning of the day i see what so, you're saying yeah what have you been playing azario well, before we get into that, on Animal Crossing, because I did say that I, I I stopped playing it, but I want to yeah. I want to I want to make you I want to make sure that you understand that I think it's because I review so many games that mm -hmm. my mind is always in like a speed run mode, 
Oh, it's for sure. Really tough to dial that back and just chill, play yeah. a game. It was weird over Christmas break. I finally finished, uh, well, I should say 100%ed um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Nice. And the, the, the thing about that is if I was reviewing it, I probably wouldn't have done all the side missions or mm. actually put in, into any consideration about the dress that the girls uh, yeah. were wearing. You know, stuff like that. I, I wouldn't have cared because my only thought process is narrative, gameplay. Does it does it make sense? Narrative, it, gameplay, visual, sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to start a website called isitfun.com. And the only thing is like, it's only like, is Final Fantasy VII Remake fun? That's yes a really no. good idea. You should it cut is- that from this episode because people will take that. <laughs> That's really I, good. I think it's a... Uh, I think it's already taken. Let me see. This is the this is the good stuff you get on this uh, podcast. Is it fun dot com? No, it's up for sale. It's up for sale. Someone's gonna take it. Looks like a uh, hover Hoover Domains owns it. Well, you better buy it before this goes up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted, I, it's it's not gonna. Be, the SEO on something like that is just, it's, it's tough. It would be tough to market. That's fair. Because you need content. And if you only have one word, yes or no, <laughs> the content. <laughs> you got a couple sensational dry. articles on websites where they're like, is it fun? Is the shortest and coolest website in a long time. Yeah. And they write big op-eds about it. That's how you get your <laughs> SEO. There's no context given either. It's just yeah. yes or no. And that's your that's your review. That's smart. Yeah, there's there's other websites that try it, but I think they try a little too hard, and they'll have like an in between one. That's cheating. Yeah, that's cheating. That's cheating. Is it fun? Yes or no? It's like when you give in elementary school when you give a girl a letter, a confession letter, as it were, that says, "Do you like me? Yes or no?" And they circle or. The fuck or. is that? They circle or. You've never gotten that before. I've never gotten a circled or. I've gotten plenty of no's, but a <laughs> yeah. few ors. I've never gotten the or. Yeah, that's, that's I don't know. Maybe one. they're just being cheeky. Maybe I have to. Maybe I had to try a little harder. Uh, we'll never know now. I never know. I should, we'll never know. I should uh, run a survey. But are all girls who I wrote letters to, or what the what? fuck? Yeah, if you've ever circled or, let me know. Please comment. Tell us why you're a sociopath. (laughs) So, Azaria, what have you been playing? Well, to be honest, not much. I we got a new batch of writers at Noisy Pixel, and they've been keeping me very busy. Oh man, it's been a long week. It's like adopting Uh, eight kids. Yeah, it's the biggest group that we've actually added to the site all at once. Typically, it would like we'll keep it around ten staff writers, and then uh, one or one or one would leave, and then we'd replace one. You know, get, get yeah. another one in. Um, this was like uh, an initiative to branch out as as big as we could, and it's going. It's been going really well. I have been reading a lot of manga. Nice. Um, I decided to, because this week, not a lot is happening um, game-wise, release-wise. It's very kind of dead. Pretty much like next month is when it starts to ramp up. Oh, that's, yeah. It's It gets scary with like near and stuff. Like, oh, we're we're definitely in in for it. Um, So I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this week, catching up on some reading. I, um... Yeah, I did manga and edited a lot of videos, and that's that's pretty much it. It's nice. Kind of Any good manga? Mm, the manga. Have you seen Doctor Stone? Doctor Stone's like my favorite series right now. Yeah. Okay. So Doctor Stone got a side story. Oh, I've heard uh, about it. For for like, it basically it's it's the side story of uh, his dad. Yeah, the astronaut. Yeah, and. I like is really fucking good. I gotta and, check it out. And it's it's kind of 
it's kind of emotional in a way because to be honest, I've never read a manga where half of the second half doesn't have any human characters in it at all. There's one chapter with no human characters in it, and it's just like this robot character. Wow. But to write for one character and have have that AI character like lead an entire chapter is is it's it worked out well and I've never seen it done. That's so, impressive. Yeah, it's uh and they have all the science jargon in there and like it reminded me of a Magic the School Bus episode, you know, just like <laughs> the stuff yeah. that this the stuff that this robot was able to accomplish was incredible. And so if you're a fan, I do recommend uh this reboot and it made me actually want to catch up with with the series because I think I'm I think I stopped after a couple volumes. Um it's definitely worth it. It's it's such an interesting read and the art's beautiful cuz it's by Boichi. Yeah, and I think the anime is up to like the the 60th chapter around there or something like that, I think. Yeah, it's in like the Stone War arc. So okay. there it's it's pretty uh, I think there's like 3 or 4 episodes left this season, so it's good. Yeah, that's that's something that's on my on my plate is uh catching up with Dr. Stone because the side story content you don't need to know anything about the series because it pretty much just starts over from the beginning mm-hmm. and shows you all the petrification stuff and how all that happened. So you, yeah, if you want an entry into the series, please do 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 yourself a favor. I think it released like last week or something like that. So yeah, I gotta see if it's on the Shonen Jump app. Yeah, it is. Oh, it was it's really good, really good, awesome. Um, other than that, uh. I do have a topic that I would like to to bring to the table. Oh my! And what could this it be? has to do this has to do with photo mode. <gasps> it's very popular. It is in today's popular. today's gaming. Um, it wasn't really anything big when when I was growing up. We, mm-hmm. we never had these like photo mode stuff. I want to I want to pick your brain a little bit. What do you? Sure. How, what are your uh, What's what's your experience with photo mode? Uh, for the most part, not much. Like it's something that I'll mess around with a little bit, but I won't do too much. Um, but now I've done it more. I think it's really helpful for reviews because you can get really nice screenshots uh, for for articles. And I mean, you can make entire articles out of just photo mode like i've seen them i've I've made one um and i think that for that reason they're great because there's so much detail put in them especially games like uh miles morales that one had insane detail in its photo mode and it's always really cool to see what people do with it but at the same time most of the time when i'm playing a game i'm like i'm just here for the game so i won't visit it too much Mm. but i'll I'll mess around with it a little bit Mm. i think i'm the same way I, uh, but to be honest, like even for like anime games that I find myself more attracted to, uh, mm-hmm. even if they have a photo mode, I don't, I think I get, I think I fight with the controls so much that yeah. I don't even want to learn. And then yeah, I like see what other game. people accomplish and I'm like, I'm never going to do something like that. Just let, let the pros, let the pros handle it. And it is really fun to see what, pros do because there's some like insane photos from from so many games where it's just looking at it you're like that's a screenshot from this game that like i could barely tell for a bit yeah so it is fun to browse but like like you kind of just said i'm not really of the mind for it it feels like a whole other game that you have to learn where you're like dude it takes work it takes work yeah because i've tried to set up really cool pictures and in my head i was like oh this this will make such a good shot. And then in reality, as I'm setting it up, I was like, this is stupid. Yeah, no, I, I have that feeling constantly when I do it. So I, it's, it's discouraging. It makes me be like, Oh, okay. I guess, I guess I'm not cut out for this. I guess I'll just keep playing it. You know, what makes it worse is that I don't use photo mode, but when a photo mode is available and it's super bare bones and lacking, like it was just yeah. tacked on that makes me upset typically because I feel like it should have never been included in the first place. If you're not going to go all in 
and dial it yeah, back. Yeah, and don't bother. But if you're going all in, like it's it's impressive. I will say, yeah. like, there's a lot of features to games, like I said, like Miles Morales, where and like Demon Souls, where you can just do so much with uh with it that it really helps not only with articles but i'm sure for photographers and people who are more artistically minded like i'm sure it's a great way to express your passion for a game yeah i i don't i don't think it should be like a make or break for a buy though i i see people saying like no photo mode what's up with that you know it's like really that's that's gonna be your 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 beg you know everyone has a beg for a game but this is what they want they want a photo mode and that's it yeah it's that's strange uh, i can't picture caring that much about it but at the same time uh i guess i'm kind of the type of person who doesn't so maybe that's just coming from my point of view but it is weird to hinge it on on such a like minor feature what would what's a make or break feature for you that you like to see in games then? Um, that's tough. <laughs> it sounds silly, but pause menus. Whenever I play something like Monster Hunter or Demon Souls, I'm like, I can't pause. This is so stressful. I have to commit to playing this game for like yeah. hours. Even though, like, realistically, you can go to the home menu or you can just like die. But it's <laughs> without a pause button, it feels really stressful. I don't know. It's always weird to me. I enjoy uh, dual audio. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. I I don't typically enjoy stuff like um, fast forward and stuff like that. People love the fast forward option. I'll use it if it's there, mm-hmm. but I I honestly don't don't really need it. You know? Yeah. It's not something like I don't know. I guess time is important, but if the developer picked this speed, you know, for a reason, I don't yeah. think, I don't think that it, the game necessarily needs to be fast forwarded. Yeah. I, I, I think it's good like for the replays. Maybe the old PlayStation games needed it because maybe there's something to do with frame rate. So they had to keep it a certain speed. Yeah. But games nowadays, like Trails of Cold Steel, they now that when they release on like PS4, like even the third and the fourth one, they release with this uh, this speed up option. I'm like, like, yeah. Why? The first two, the first two didn't. So I, I maybe that's something to add in a future update. Oh, we know this game has been out for five months. Here's a speed up option to get you playing again. You know? Yeah. But I don't know. I think it. I think it's kind of silly. It's good for replays where it's like. Yeah, I've played Final Fantasy VII a hundred times. Yeah, yeah, fast forward is handy, but I wouldn't want it for my first time through because you're fast forwarding some of the like interesting stuff, the stuff that makes it what the game that it is. So. Yeah, but dual audio is definitely something that I like. People really hate English dubs sometimes, but there's a lot the of hate for them. I'm getting to the age where I don't want to read anymore, man. <laughs> I I maybe it's because I watch a lot of anime because I'm a gross weeb but I'm very used to subs. So typically like it depends for something like Yakuza. If it like takes place in Japan, mm. I'm like, I need subs. It feels yeah, weird okay. to not have subs, but if it was like, like I don't go out of my way to be like, why can't I play GTA five Japanese dub? Huh? Or like I, for, for American games and stuff like that, it's like, I don't care. Like it can be English. It can be whatever, but I, it's, it's I, weird to play Yakuza and have them be like, I have to go to Shichu Fuku street. <laughs> Other than, other than Shenmue, where the dub is part of the charm. Okay. Other okay. than I, that, I I like like the Persona Five. Yeah, those dubs are actually pretty good. The Persona yeah. ones. And I know people like knock it for saying like Coon and Chan and stuff like that, but I I think it's really <laughs> it's charming. Yeah, I think when I used to play Persona Four Golden on Vita and like explain to my friends, um what I did during the day, you know, yeah. you, it would be like you hung out with your friends, you know, and then you would tell your real friends what you did in the game. And it'd be like, Oh, I went on a date with, uh, Yuki Chan and, uh, we did this and, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, uh, I, I don't think all games need photo mode. 
And yeah, I don't I think it's, it's a make or break thing. I tried the photo mode in uh, in Miles Morales, and even that I sucked at, dude. Yeah, I took review photos, and that was about it. <laughs> you know, when I'm looking for review photos, I just I just go to the press kit. <laughs> oh, you're one of those guys. You go to the press kit. You know what? Hold up. Hold up, schmoed up. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I could take screenshots of the video that I edited. What do you know about editing a video? <laughs> it's true. Oh, so it's funny. I could I could do that, but they never look they never look as good as the press kit. And but there's some real you can make some really funny photos in games. Like I remember I reviewed the SpongeBob game last year and I got screenshots of like SpongeBob like punching old people in the <laughs> retirement home and like really weird like innuendo looking photos and and those got comments so there is Jeez. a benefit to in, to to that in a perfect world i would have screenshots of what was being talked about in the paragraph oh that's reflect. what i do <laughs> in a in a perfect world i would go all out but noisy pixel puts out so many reviews yeah that's that fair i can't i can't really do that that's fair I mean, unless the writer wants to put in their own pictures, then by all means. That's mm-hmm. But if I have to do it, I might even go to the Steam page. <laughs> might even Google image. I might even uh, steal something from uh, Vice or... Uh... IGN, N4G. <laughs> um, but yeah, Photomone. I don't use it. Let me know if you use it in the comments. What's your... What are your... Um, experiences with photo mode listeners you let, use let it a lot know. link your albums yeah let, show us show us what you got because we want to judge you and your creativity yeah harshly yeah we're very harsh critics we're very harsh critics it's gonna be very messy i forgot what i gave but i did give a game a two out of ten once what was the game last week you gave a four out of ten what was it it was like a bounding across or something. Oh, forward to the sky. Forward to the sky, yeah. Oh my god, what a terrible game. <laughs> is that out? Are you allowed to put that in the video? Is is that review out now? Yeah, it's on Switch. Yeah. Oh my god, what a bad game. <laughs> and the only reason it got a four is because the art that you unlock in the gallery is pretty cute. And if you give me with the cute stuff. Throw in that cute gallery. Who needs photo mode? Throw in cute gallery photos. Throw in a cute gallery mode for me to unlock. I'll play your yeah. damn game. Give me bathing yeah, suit exactly. DLC. You know what? Exactly. Forget everything. Forget photo mode. Forget everything. Just give me some bathing suit DLC. Just bathing suit DLC. I don't care what game it is. Last of Us 2. Why not? And if you listen, if you've listened this far, next week, Spencer and I will tell you the most we would pay for bathing suit DLC. What's our cap? And I'll give you a week oh. to think about it, Spencer. Because that's a I hard gotta one. think about that because this is it's... an important question. <laughs> that is that that could make or break my career. I gotta think about it. <laughs> so that. stick around for one week and we'll tell you. But other than that, I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm good. This has been yet another productive, fun podcast recording. Mm-hmm. People really liked your bedroom last time. Yeah, someone commented on my Akira poster. That was nice. Thank you, yeah. person. Uh, maybe maybe I'll record there. Maybe I'll find a way to record there more often. But for now, this is the easiest place to record. So we'll I like see. It. I like it. All right. Well, have a good week, everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye. See you.